I'm not going to say that they were doing witchy stuff, but strange, you know, mesmerising, but not quite. I don't know who they were. They were just strange. Maybe they were sisters. Some sort of sort of cult. They, they were beautiful. They were so very beautiful. beautiful. They just kind of glow. Unusual. She seems uh, unreal, somehow doll-like. She was a strange girl. Were they from another place, another country? They're just different people. That's all. Johnny and Jane and Jack and Lou, butlers stairs through Willamaloo. Willamaloo and cross the domain, round the block and home again. Hi ho, tipsy toe, give us a kiss and away we go. Where are you heading? Wherever you want. Promise I won't kill ya. I first saw them when they arrived at the house. They just suddenly appeared. Seemed to be out of nowhere. They were different. They were too thin. They were too tall. Their hair was unusual. Didn't seem to fit in at all. Stand on the balcony, completely silent, looking out over the city. They would stand there for hours. What were they doing? What were they doing here? But then they began teasing us. They were just teasing. Playing with us. You know, as if they knew we were watching. Strange behaviour, strange things happening. They performed these tribal dances themselves in, closing the curtain. It just wasn't normal. It seemed like rituals. It, it really didn't seem right. Lots of, lots of touching. Actually, a little bit unnerving. closed all the time, even if it was a beautiful stuff. Strange stuff. Strange stuff. And she was looking she straight, straight at me. At me. Her face was unreal, doll-like, not natural. She never left the house, but sometimes people would come and visit them. Hello, ladies. The name's Donny Benet, and there's nothing like a little pâté to help kickstart your day, wouldn't you say? You've been specifically selected for a unique one-off, once-in-a-lifetime experience of the Donny Benet Cabaret Premium Karaoke Show. Made in Japan, of the latest technology, only through personal visit. Can I please come in? Constant. And then the constant singing started. <laughs> on the beach, I do my next surging on your feet, champagne breakfast is so grand, on a blanket in the sand, don't mind wearing a nice suit, I wear a bow tie to look cute, don't mind learning to speak French, as long as everything you say, hey man, recite poetry all night long, I'll even write you your own song, we'll share our feelings all night long, just like the song, all night long. Just a candy lover. I like no other.
We'll take three. And then when they made better fast clothes, when they were just, it became more serious. It was just wrong. <laughs> it seemed that she put a spell on me. We realized that we had a problem. I don't want to know what's going on, right? <laughs> These girls were just locked away, doing their little dancey chats. They kept very much to themselves, really. A concern that they had locked themselves. They started becoming very secret. The more people kind of hide, I guess, the more curious. The longer it went on, it just sort of shut down. Just didn't like that. The house almost became like a prison. We've put up with enough of this. I don't know what sort of funny stuff is going on in here. I don't like her. Shh. It's all this twisted stuff, the dancing. Cody here said you've exposed yourself to him. I didn't know I couldn't expose myself. Oh, please. Nor the Cody he was watching. <sighs> this is not normal. These games you're playing at night. Who are you? We're your neighbours. Boo! Yeah, there's something, there's something inside me that kind of feels like I wish they came back. I mean, we definitely shared some moments.